What's up, guys? It is IRGT85. Happy Tuesday. Hope everyone had a great weekend. But of course, we've got some video game news to talk about. A couple stories floating around that I definitely want to cover. So if this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to like and share the video as well. If you are a longtime viewer of the channel, you might want to stick around till the end of the video. A brief little channel update is going to go down. Nothing too crazy. But without any further ado, let's talk about what's going on in the world of video games. And we're going to start things off with no. No, I have not gotten my Nintendo Switch OLED yet. On Saturday, I made a video chronicalizing my uh, attempt to get a Nintendo Switch OLED via Walmart. I pre-ordered it the day it went up, and it still hasn't come yet. And I hit Walmart's customer service up, and I was like, hey, what's up with this? And they're like, well, we can't give you a status update. It actually said it was going to be arriving on Monday, October 11th at my place, and, well, that's come and gone, and, and it never showed up. There's, there's no tracking number. It doesn't even say that the order has processed or anything like that. So I, I'm pretty sure, like, this is just a dead order at this time. I don't expect Walmart to send me a Switch OLED. And, you know, it's not a huge deal or whatever. Obviously, I wanted to make a video on it and play around with it. But as time goes on, as the days go by, it's kind of like, well, nobody's going to care what I have to say about a Switch OLED, especially considering people got them nearly two weeks ago now. So I think I'm just going to cancel my order and just try to get one later on when they're more plentiful in supply. Next up, the Nintendo Switch Online service is going to be the focus of the rest of this video as we have two stories pertaining to that that I definitely want to talk about. The first one is, you're coming close, Nintendo. You're coming close. You're almost hitting the mark with this. I like the efficiency. I like the consistency. But sometimes you got to look at the games and be like, hmm, you know, maybe, maybe this isn't the best choice for these markets. So, of course, Nintendo has the thing going on with the Nintendo Switch where it has free game trials. Essentially, you could download a game. You could play the full version of the game for seven days no questions asked you know it's the complete version of the game if you could beat the game within seven days well then you beat the game and you don't have to buy it but if you decide to buy it after the fact you get a steep discount on the game and nintendo's done a decent job i would say you know there were some weird games like among us and it's like it's a, it's a five dollar game nope nobody cares to to get a trial of that you kind of know what you're doing with it it's free on mobile as well but of course there's been good games like mario tennis aces this guy of five games that could obviously use a bit of a sales boost well nintendo announced some new games coming to the service and well the u.s is kind of getting screwed i mean there's really no way around it the u.s and japan are getting separate games and you have to have the japanese account in order to do it i don't even think if you download it via the japanese account that it will be in english if you choose it to be in english so you're kind of screwed with this it's like what the games are are the games you get now japan is getting the world ends with you final remix now this is a game that you know it didn't sell all that great the sequel hasn't sold all all that great but getting the game into people's hands for free and allowing them to check it out i think is a smart move if you want this franchise to be something substantial going forward in the future now the world ends with you final remix obviously had some control issues as far as how you played the game which i mean really sort of plagued the game the whole entire time it was around but from october 18th through october 24th you can play this game via the japanese eShop if you have a a Nintendo Switch Online account via Japan, and basically it's going to be you know the full version of the game. The final, the world ends with you. Final remix will be 50% off after that trial is up. And Neo: The World Ends with You, the sequel to the game, will be 30% off during October 18th and October 24th. So that's smart. That's a game that obviously needs a boost. Games like Mario Tennis Aces obviously needed a little bit of a boost. So Nintendo put the game out there where you could play it and get the whole game for free, and then keep the game if you wanted to at a discounted price. So What's the U.S. getting? If, you know, they're getting the world ends with you, which should just be a worldwide thing for the service. What is the U.S. getting? Jackbox Party Pack 6. Yes, the hit game Jackbox Party Pack 6 will be free for the Nintendo Switch online service members between October 13th and October 19th. The game will also be on sale until October 27th, and it's just kind of like why 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 this game you literally have thousands of games and this is the game you have decided to give a free trial to a game that is essentially a party game sure you can play the game online but it's really meant to be played with the same people in the same room to get the experience and it's just this isn't a game that needs a trial this isn't a game that needs a sales boost like it, it, it's just a game that sort of exists you know party games exist people choose to buy party games if they have you know casual people coming over or they have casual people in their house so Japan gets the world ends with you final remix and the US gets Jackbox Party Pack 6.
Something just seems wrong about that. I don't know. Maybe maybe there's a lot of Jackbox Party Pack 6 fans out there. You know, I'm unfamiliar with Party Pack 5. Maybe Party Pack 7 is coming out soon. So they're trying to promote it for the game. But yeah, so you get a free game. It's not really a good game, but eh, it's a game. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. And finally, one of my favorite things from the last Nintendo Direct was, of course, the inclusion of N64 games coming to the Nintendo Switch. I love the N64. I have a video about the N64 going up at some time whenever the sponsor approves the video, looking at some of the library of the games, but this is a system that I have very fond nostalgia of, and it's a system that I've always wanted to be able to play them online in an easy manner, you know, not having to use emulators and do all this sort of stuff on my computer, just sit down, play my N64, and be able to play some of the multiplayer aspects of these games online. Games like Star Fox 64, Mario Kart 64, awesome, awesome games that have awesome multiplayer. So to be able to experience this online is going to be a very good thing. But there was actually a question going into the Nintendo Switch online service with these N64 games is what region it was gonna be? Because Eagle Eye viewers noticed that in the trailer for some of the N64 games that were announced during that Nintendo Direct presentation, some of the versions of the game were actually European versions of the game. Now that might not seem like a big deal, but back in the day, the European regions and the North American regions of the game actually differed in a pretty substantial manner because of the Hertz basically. Basically in Europe games ran at 50 Hertz whereas in North America games ran at 60 Hertz and it was like the same thing with cable and all that. The reason being that in the Europe regions it basically ran a little bit slower but you had things like higher density in terms of visuals and visual clarity and things like that but it was a weird time that definitely impacted video games because a lot of games that are European games that you play on a European system, they do run slower. It's very noticeable. You might remember during back with the PlayStation uh, Classic system, that system actually had European versions of games on it. So games that normally ran at 60 frames per second only ran at 50 frames per second, and it really took away from the experience, especially if you were in North America. So it seemed like Nintendo was actually going down that same sort of road with the N64 games. And let's be realistic, Nintendo can half-ass stuff sometimes. You know, I was very surprised that the N64 came with online, I figured there had to be a catch, and maybe this was going to be a catch. You were essentially going to get the European versions of select games, but Nintendo actually went out of their way to clarify this situation. Via Nintendo of Europe's Twitter account, they said the following. All Nintendo 64 games included in the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack can be played in 60 Hz English language versions. Select games will also have the option to play the European PAL version of the game with language options. So it's actually not gonna be a problem, and that's a big win in my opinion, because let's be real, one of the biggest issues with the PlayStation Classic was the fact that it was European versions of the game that ran slower. Now, in Europe, where you know the whole 50 and 60 hertz thing isn't a big deal anymore and doesn't really exist, now European players will actually be able to play those North American games, and the North American players will actually be playing the North American versions of the game. So it was a confirmation for both regions, and I do find it interesting that you'll be able to play some of the original versions of the games so if you have sort of nostalgia, you know, for a game like Star Fox and you boot it up on your Nintendo Switch Online account and you're in Europe and you're like, oh, this runs faster than I remember it, you'll be able to play that other version of the game. So this is a big win in my opinion. This is a good job by Nintendo and a very smart decision. And it goes to show you that there's kind of taking the online stuff seriously. I know we just talked about Jackbox Party Pack 6 and that's obviously not a game that a lot of people care about but they seem to be putting a lot of time care and effort into this Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack for the N64 games by including things like online and by doing the proper regions of the game so salute Nintendo I'm very happy to see this and now just give me the release date it says they're coming in October I want to play these games and I want to play them now Alrighty, so that is going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know what you think of everything in the comment section down below. And like I said at the start, brief little channel update. Just don't want you guys to worry. So today is October 12th, and usually, you know, you see me upload at least every day, and you know, at the bare minimum every other day. I don't really take more than, you know, a day or two off. But this upcoming week is going to be very sporadic. Um, I'm actually finally moving. Um, closing on the place on Friday, and I'm moving Saturday, and I don't get internet 
internet in my new place until Sunday, so I'm really not quite sure what's going to be happening as far as content is concerned. I'm trying to do some content before then to have for the weekend, but that may or may not happen. Um, like I said in the video last week, um, we lost a family friend. His service is going to be on Thursday, um, so I close on Friday, so there's a lot of stuff going on this week. I'm going to do my best to make videos, though. Um, I know if I disappear for a couple days, people might think, you know, where, where did he go? where to go so i'll be doing my best to make videos but you know if i miss a day or two don't be alarmed and thank you guys for the continued support you know we're almost at 400 000 subscribers views are great everything is great on the channel so i sincerely appreciate you and as always i'll catch you guys on the next video later